Hello friends. Today we are going to do multiple peak fitting. In our last video we did single peak fitting. Now using the same origin 8.6 we are going to do multiple peak fitting. So again we have some data and like our previous video I am going to plot this. So, in our last video, we plotted this single peak, but in this video, we are going to fit this peak. This peak is clearly a double peak. So, there are two peaks which we are going to fit. In this, it is clear that you can't fit a double peak using gadget option. So this time we are directly switching to analysis option. So for fitting this double peak first we will move to analysis option then peak and baseline fitting then we can go to this option multiple peak fit. In this option multiple peak fit I am going to this open dialog. So uh, you will see that this NL fit peaks type box opens in front of me. Uh, first of all, we can choose the peak function. So uh, there are many peak function like goes, goes amp, pseudo void, void, and uh, similarly many. So basing the easiest case uh, initially, so I am choosing this goes option. And now the most important thing, uh, we have a huge data in which we are taking just this small portion to fit. So it is important that we choose our input range so that we can easily fit it. After clicking this, so there are two vertical bars. So in this process, uh, we are going to fit in between these two bars. Now, if I like to shift these bars, I can shift and choose the range in which I want to fit this data. Okay, uh, now we are going to fit this data in between these two bars. After selecting your range, you can click on this and you will come back to the dialog box again. And now when the input range and peak function is finalized, now we can click OK. Uh, now you can see that, so there is another dialog box and it uh, tells you that, OK, select your peak. So if I double click on some position, so possibility uh, is this that uh, there is one peak here and one peak here. So I double click on this position so that I can give it a tentative value of our peaks. And uh, at second place I am double clicking at this place. Okay. So I can guess that we have two peaks at this and this place. So now I am opening this NL fit. So after some time this... Uh, box with some uh, initial parameters is opening in front of me so overall this is not a good fitting uh, because the fitted data is not close to our actual data so i can go to this option simplex so as i click it so you will see uh, this is getting quite close and there is some chi square value which is close to 24 so I'm going again to this option. So now this is 23.9. It is getting lower. So uh, I can feel that, okay, uh, the further steps I can do. Now you can see that this is 23.9093. And this is also quite close value, 98041 and 051. So after decimal around uh, 10th place, it is getting some difference. Now you can see that the chi-square value 
is the same after doing uh, simplex so i can feel that uh, there is no further thing that uh, it can fit uh, so we can feel that okay this fitting is good uh, now i am telling you something quite important consider in uh, xps data you need controlled parameters so up to this uh, is something uh, what is done by uh, this origin software but consider you want something particular uh, consider the fwhm or the width uh, you don't like this width of first peak or it should be in some particular ratio it should be equal to this so there are two kinds of things one thing is share option if i click this width uh, click uh, if i click this here so this fitting will take this value for both the peaks so let us consider uh, this is 0.13 and i i want the same value for this 0.13 so or something like xps uh, fitting i want width of these two peaks to be same so i can choose this share option 1.3 so this is this option has gone from the second peaks parameter and you can say this option is just here now i can start fitting so this is an alternate fitting in this case you can see the width of both the peaks is the same and the chi square is 34.80 in the first time and the next time it is uh, a little bit less so i can uh, move some to some further iterations uh, yes now it it is reducing still reducing still reducing yeah now it is same so now in this condition uh, when i am controlling some parameters so in this condition this is the best fit okay now i am uh, releasing this share option for this and now i am fixing them because i want them to be same and consider i want to change some area so uh, this was earlier done by share option now i can use this by uh, fixed option uh, consider i need its area to be increased i want okay this is 65 and this should be 45 something like that so i can fix this and change its value to 45 and now i can fit it further so in that condition this will be the fitting which is getting a little bit off but uh, in this way we can control our parameters for a specific kind of fitting uh, required for some particular application uh, whatever we fit in this uh, at the end of this fitting we can go to this fit option as soon as i click this uh, i get a table in which there are the parameters of peak 1 and peak 2 xc is the position of first peak and the second peak first peaks fwhm second peaks fwhm because we uh, fixed its uh, width so that's why fwhm of both the peaks is same so in this way we can control our parameter for especially for uh, xps fitting and there is one more graph we are getting so in this i can see okay this is uh, peak one's data uh, this is peak two's data points and this is cumulative sum of these two so uh, we can fit this and we can see what are our fitting parameters so we can increase its uh, width we can go to line and we can choose this okay so this black is our first peak red is our fitting towards second peak and this green is the cumulative total peak in this case uh, in this way 
you can fit uh, multiple peaks of any XRD XPS Raman data uh, and control its parameter. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please leave comments and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.